Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. In this video, I want to look at some suggestions and desires I have for a new development direction for Ubisoft and the Assassin's Creed team moving forward. I'm making this type of video as my interest in Assassin's Creed has more or less completely extinguished. So, for the Assassin's Creed The Truth series, I've planned two more episodes beyond this one to wrap up this show, for the time being at least. Maybe not forever, but at least for now. This episode and the next are my ideas for the franchise's future that I would like to see Ubisoft implement. And the final episode, 25, being an in-depth lore video befitting the finale of this series. Now let me be clear, these suggestions I'm going to make in this video are drastic ones, and I have no doubts they will probably never happen. But before I move on from making Assassin's Creed content as a regular focus, I would be remiss if I didn't give my thoughts on changes and ideas that I feel would drastically help the Assassin's Creed franchise. Meaning, if I was in charge of Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft, these are the things that I would do. The biggest issues for me as an Assassin's Creed fan over the years has been the annual release cycle. An issue for some reason so many fans don't understand to this day. I argue that the lack of narrative focus, stale gameplay and lack of improvements over the past several games, especially during the colonial industrial era of the Assassin's Creed games, comes as a direct result of the annual release cycle. Fans would then criticise me and others for saying this, repeating the same embarrassingly poorly thought out arguments of, well they have multiple teams working on the game so they can release it every year if they want or it's been in development for years they didn't make it in one year. As if I didn't know this information. As if I haven't been making Assassin's Creed content for the better part of a decade. The fact that this is a franchise no one team is in charge of and there are multiple teams overlapping is the exact reason there's an issue with the annual release cycle. The one time a team made an Assassin's Creed game in a year was the AC2 team when they went on straight away to make Brotherhood, which was the best two games of the entire franchise in my opinion. Why is that? Well, the fact that they had the same team working on it, knowing what they needed to improve on from the previous game, the narrative was overarching, and they could continue the story they started, led to a cohesive and relevant follow-up a year later. The problem now is these overlapping teams do not share the same narrative ideas with different writers, game directors and producers. They have different settings, narratives and ideas for gameplay. The ideas they do share are then built upon and by the time the game is released and critics give feedback to the developers on how to improve, the next game is already so far in development that not much can be changed. We've seen how the development teams operate from GDC 2018 where Ubisoft shared a picture of the development structures over the last 10 years of Assassin's Creed. It shows how long each game has been worked on and just how many teams have been involved in the making of Assassin's Creed over the years. It's a structure that has worked financially well for Ubisoft over the years, for the most part anyway, and they are content with improving their fiscal earnings in any way they can each year. But I make this video for a new way of developing Assassin's Creed games. My reasoning though stems from my love of gaming Assassin's Creed and a diverse range of games, narratives, that could still have an annual release cycle as a result to improve Ubisoft's fiscal earnings. Is my idea a simple low risk way to release Assassin's Creed games every year as they do now? No. Granted, I understand Ubisoft have no major reason at this moment to make changes financially. But, my idea helps the long-term interest for the franchise, at least in my view, so the games don't become even more stale to fans than they already are. I'm going to try and cover the best of both worlds here. What fans want, quality Assassin's Creed games, and what Ubisoft wants, sales growth each fiscal year. So what is the idea I've got? Some of you know what I'm going to suggest because I've been talking about it on Twitter and on podcasts for months now but it involves changing the way the development teams are divided and what kind of Assassin's Creed games they make. Again, this is me playing the role of Ubisoft CEO and or head of content for Assassin's Creed, so just bear with me here. We have the Montreal 3 development team who have made Assassin's Creed Revelations, AC4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Origins. This is the team I would keep on developing the open world RPG Assassin's Creed games we know and are used to. The team is in charge of the narrative for their games, and they will make the traditional AC style of game, releasing on a three-year window. You can expect this team to be led by Ashraf Ishmael, whose focus is on continuing the overarching modern-day narrative that links through the Animus to an ancestor storyline. 
improving on open world RPG mechanics and weaving through new and exciting historical settings, with huge leaps and improvements between games every three years. Again, this will be the traditional style of gameplay and narrative that you're all used to for Assassin's Creed. So where do the changes come? Well, the big changes here, at least in my idea, uh, there will be no other teams other than this Montreal 3 team working on these types of Assassin's Creed games. The other teams working on Assassin's Creed will be split into two other teams, making entirely different games. What I mean by that is we have so many major game franchises out there that make spin-off games or different game genres set in the same universe. Halo has Halo Wars. Gears of War announced an RTS style of game that's going to release on a different cycle to their normal Gears 5 that's coming out next year. I would love to see that same sort of spin-off or reinvention for Assassin's Creed. That way you could release a new Assassin's Creed title every year, except each year it would be a different series from a different team. I know they did the Assassin's Creed Chronicle games, but those were so half ass and poorly made. I'm talking big scale. Something to actually fit at the end of year 4 release that Assassin's Creed so used to. The Montreal 3 team will make the traditional Assassin's Creed games, then add the random subtitles on the end, so it'll be, we have Assassin's Creed Origins, and then this year's Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so it'll be Assassin's Creed Blah, as usual. Whereas the next team could make something with a title like, a comic book for example is called Assassin's Creed Uprising, and that's a comic book series. Well, the next team might make the Assassin's Creed Uprising series, that'll be Assassin's Creed Uprising 2, or Assassin's Creed Uprising subtitle added on. But that's their series, that's what the second development team is making. It's just the Uprising series set in Assassin's Creed. Of course, that's just an example name because that's a novel series that I'm trying to use to make a point here about titles. Ubisoft do it with their comics and novels, so why can't they do this with games and have these separate series that each team's in charge of? I even tweeted an idea back a few months ago. Imagine an Assassin's Creed linear game, in brackets like God of War, or I've added in Uncharted, with an assassin mentor and protege traveling across the world, similar to Xiao Yun's story in Embers, with a focus not on gameplay, but on story, assassin philosophy, and a deeply intimate view on the historical setting. I'm tired of the stale story structure of AC. I want something totally different, like this. I think it would be so interesting and important to the assassin lore. I would love to see a linear style Assassin's Creed game. It would create a wildly different experience for gameplay and bring narrative opportunities that Ubisoft have never attempted before with Assassin's Creed. A way to expand the greater scope of the expanded universe and tell these types of stories they haven't previously been able to tell with games. The third team could even be focusing on modern day style games that could be first person mirror's edge slash shooter sort of experiences that would be set in its own series. Amar Azazia, the current head of content for Assassin's Creed, has said himself that certain storylines were taken out of games and wrapped up in comic books because they couldn't tell them properly in a game. Juno being the biggest example, they spend five games talking about her and building her up, then never finished it and pretend it doesn't even exist in the games. So they could then go and wrap it up in a comic book in which they killed her. I mean, come on. That is an unacceptable excuse to me. It shows the lack of commitment to your franchise, its storytelling and lack of creativity within your team to decide the way to tell your stories. It's a lack of long-term thinking and a lack of just, I, I, I can't, it's, I can't. Having different types of games other than the same old open world action RPG we get every year from Assassin's Creed would be a huge difference maker for the longevity of the franchise. That way you can tell all sorts of stories in the universe. We have seen Activision do similar sorts of development cycles that they've been doing with the Call of Duty games for years where they have different teams working on different games. Of course, each of those are just first person shooters, but I don't see why we can't do that with AC and have different types of games though. And I know you'd already be saying, well, Ubisoft do at Activision, do they have their different Ubisoft teams? Yeah, but they cross over, they change and in charge of different narratives, whereas Call of Duty, they have their... Modern Warfare series, their Black Ops series, and you know, the, each team has their own little series that they can focus on, and I want to see that more with Assassin's Creed. One year fans get their regular Assassin's Creed game with open world RPG style. Next year we get an Uncharted style linear game that gives more intimate look into the characters, the historical settings, that could also give characters the chance to have multiple games and storylines, explore deeper and more personal stories and teachings of the Creed or the Assassin vs Templar story. Not some massive leaps of a character becoming 
an assassin, killing thousands of people, and then becoming a master by the end. I mean, like, a slower, really methodical development with more personal consequences to it, like the Uncharted games have, like The Last of Us has, like God of War has. I think it would be a great way to tell certain novel stories that have not been even touched upon in the games. Then the following year, you have a modern-day game series that has the first-person style to tell those sorts of stories. The stories you tell in the comics can finally be explored in actual games to bring more people deeper into the expanded universe, have each team in charge of their own series so they can build their own narrative that won't be then chopped and changed by another writer that gets their hands on it by a different team in a different city the next year. That's my rationale behind why it's a good idea. I think it's a good way to avoid staleness of the same types of Assassin's Creed every year, a good way to tell overarching stories and stories you couldn't even tell in games before according to you, as well as draws in different types of fans that may be interested in one of the series or bring them into all of the different series you've got going on. Either way, I think it would be a huge success for Ubisoft. But what do I know, right? The reality is though, the team in charge of Assassin's Creed are under strict Ubisoft control and will never have the freedom or even forethought to take risks like this. Ubisoft have their same open world formula over all their franchises and are more than happy to stick to that. So I never really see anything changing or any of these ideas happening. These suggestions are big leaps away from their current formula and Ubisoft really have no financial incentive at this present moment to do so. I'm sure there'll be plenty of changes in the years to come as the games inevitably get stale, which they have already been and inevitably will. I mean, look at Ubisoft taking a year off between Syndicate and Origins because sales were so bad because of the Unity and Syndicate games themselves. Then you have the big changes to Origins and now they're back to annual release cycles. Well, eventually, it's going to happen again and they're going to do the same thing and they're going to try to trick fans like they've changed it by taking one year off one time and then making the same mistake over and over and over again. The only hope is that they have people that are passionate enough about the storytelling of Assassin's Creed in a high enough position to make some changes or even take some calculated risks. But again, that's just one guy's suggestion. It's not as if I know Assassin's Creed at all or anything. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Do you like my ideas? What would you tweak or change from them? Or do you have totally different development ideas of your own? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you later.